Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 6th of 2022 well, it is titled an iridescent Peleus cloud over China. So what do we see here? Well, looking a little bit closer to home than we have in the past here, we see an image of our own Earth with some trees in the foreground. And up in the sky, we see a cloud. We're not looking at stars this time or galaxies, but we are looking at things within our own atmosphere. And we can see the dark cloud below and the iridescent glow up above that. Now this is an example of a Peleus iridescent cloud. And in this case, what happens is that water droplets form, and they happen to have a very similar size so that they diffract the light, essentially giving us the rainbow colors that we see. So not a rainbow, which is caused by rain droplets all over the sky, but actually focused here within the cloud. So that they what the what the rain droplets do is to diffract light and that is to bend the light. And when light passes through it, it is like passing through a prism. And that means that different parts are bent at different amounts. The blue and purple lights are bent the most and the reds bent the least. And that can give us this iridescent glow around the around the part of the cloud here. Now the cloud itself below is actually a cumulus cloud. So we can see the large puffy cloud there. And that uh, forms from uh, material expanding upward into the atmosphere and are actually generally what develop into storm clouds. So we may be seeing the beginning of a storm cloud forming here. And again, because of the way the water droplets form in that area, we get the iridescent glow around this cloud. So one of the things that we see that is within our own atmosphere. And in fact, while we often look outside our atmosphere, we need to study our own atmosphere as an understanding of other atmospheres in the solar system. And of course, we study other atmospheres, those of other planets such as Mars and the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn. And we use our understanding of how their atmospheres work to help us better understand things here on Earth. Earth. So it's a lot better when you can study multiple versions of something, even if they're somewhat different to get a more complete picture and a better understanding of the atmospheric processes. So that was our picture of the day for September 6th of 2022. It was titled an iridescent Peleus cloud over China. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be big red. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.